My role at the gallery is exhibition officer and that involves putting together the exhibitions, working with artists, bringing the artworks into the gallery, working out where they're going to go, working on the exhibition labels and other texts that uh, give you the information about the artworks in the exhibition. I look after things like insurance of artworks, condition reporting artworks, the transport of artworks to the gallery, the wrapping, packing and storage of artworks for exhibitions, but also the gallery's collection. I look after the gallery's collection. We have over 3,000 artworks here at Wollongong Art Gallery and those acquisitions come into the gallery through gift or donation or we purchase works for the collection. We are attempting to gather together works to tell the story of Australian art and our community so that uh, in many years time people can reflect on the collection. The purpose of the collection is to tell our story, our history. So we have works that describe what the Illawarra was like um, before 1935. We have works by Indigenous artists that express their stories and their histories. And we have works by contemporary artists and it captures the moment, what's happening in our world at the time. I also manage the storage and accessioning of those works, so recording the details of the artworks, who the artworks are by, uh, their biographical information and the physical uh, descriptions of the artworks and also capturing photographs of the artworks and keeping all of that information together in a database. I look after the gallery's artworks in terms of them being physical objects, so make sure that they're stored safely, that we do what's called preventative conservation to make sure that they don't deteriorate over time. And any works that have deteriorate or have condition issues, we consult with conservators to solve those, those matters, um, making sure that the artworks are free of dust, that they don't um, have any issues relating to the environment that they're in. So the gallery's always in peak environmental conditions, um, proper lighting conditions for different artworks and making sure that they are as safe as they can be because each artwork that comes into the collection is meant to be a part of the collection for 500 years so that's the time frame that we're working with to try and preserve these works for that length of time. A curator tries to tell a story with an exhibition of artworks. In my role, I get the opportunity to curate exhibitions from the gallery's collection quite often and I bring artworks together so that they connect and they tell a story, uh, they respond to a theme or they're bringing across an idea that just walking around an exhibition and seeing these visual items can give you a sense or an idea or a story. Uh, curating is a great pleasure. It's like playing with art. Bringing things together uh, is, you know, a fantastic job. Fabrications is a collection exhibition that I had been thinking about for a long time. We purchased Kathy Temin's major piece in 2018 and that complemented this wall work that we had by Kathy Temin from 1993. It got me thinking about the use of fabrics in artworks and how artists are creating sculptures and new pieces from either used or new or recycled fabric. I realised that within our collection we had quite a number of works that either highlighted the beauty of fabric or used fabric itself to create new work. So I came to the idea that this would be an excellent exhibition and the use of fabric to me tells a story, especially when it is, as there are in this exhibition, many pieces that discuss clothing or have clothing as the medium, recycled clothing as the medium of the work. The clothing that Michelle Elliott has used in the exhibition was all discarded or gifted to her 
and it tells the story of the wearer. She's created new terrain or mapped new stories onto the work by stitching that fabric into a new form and then whitewashed it by putting white paint over the top to, in a way, obliterate the story or to make a comment on that happening in society. Kathy Cavalieri's work shows her making a nest or a mound out of her mother's clothing and meditating on that nest and looking out to sea. Okay. Anita Larkin's work is a sculpture that joins two people together. She's created a headpiece that joins people's minds, a chest piece that joins their hearts, and a foot piece that connects them physically by their feet. This work by Leonie Watson is a wonderful painting of a fabric form. Not all the works in the exhibition actually utilise fabric uh, in their creation, but they're depicting fabric. And this one is a knotted piece of fabric that has a hidden truth. It has a, some psychological content. And the work has a wonderful uh, you know, synchronicity with this very different work by Penny Harris, which is a sculpture, a bronze piece. Penny Harris's work looks at found fabrics and she's created a cast bronze sculpture using that very fluid form. To support this exhibition and the wonderful pieces from Wollongong Art Gallery's collection, I requested a few works from other collections in New South Wales to support this exhibition. Uh, one of those pieces was Michaela Dwyer's work from the MCA, the Museum of Contemporary Art, and a Christo piece from the Art Gallery of New South Wales. I felt that these major pieces supported the great works that we have in our collection to make this exhibition a strong exhibition. Christo creates sculptures that have an amazing presence due to the fact that they are wrapped sometimes in fabric and they have uh, a, a secret that cannot be found out. Um, you're not really sure what's inside. And it was a great pleasure to be able to bring this work into the gallery from the Art Gallery of New South Wales collection. Uh, the team who installed the exhibition got to handle this piece. We got it out of the crate. We talked to the conservator from the Art Gallery of New South Wales how, of course, they've never unwrapped this work. The work is called Wrap Paintings, but they're not really sure what the paintings look like that are inside this sculpture. It would be very great to find out, but it's part of the mystery of the work, the secret of the work, that it's about the form, the idea of painting, and uh, it remains wrapped.